Okay, so this is Pull, we Pull List Week 2. Uh, this is actually last week's comics because I forgot to record last week because I was busy. But anyway, let's get to it. I got uh, three comics this week. Uh, the first one was uh, Ultimate Thor Issue 1. Um, this, I really like this. Uh, this was a good, this was the first one I read. I'm going to... I'm going to review them in the order I read them. This issue was really good. Um, I actually wasn't going to pick up Ultimate Thor because I haven't read the Ultimates 1, 2, or 3, or any Ultimate books, any really. Um, I'm not a big Marvel guy, if you know me. But I really like Thor, and there was no Thor trades there uh, that really interested me. There was one that was quite old, so I was just going to pick up the next, some Thor comics. And just the artwork on this just really... It just looked really cool. So I picked this up and uh, it wasn't that much. I think it was something like two ninety nine or something. But uh, yeah, uh, so it's relatively cheap for a comic uh, considering most of them are three ninety nine. Uh, so I picked it up and it's, it's really good. Uh, if you haven't read it already, it's kind of set out uh oddly it skips back and forth in time so like the first page starts and it's probably the present time and there's like a battle going on or something and uh forgive me i don't really know much about thor history and ultimate thor is completely different as well so if i if you're a thor fanboy then please feel free to abuse me in the comments but um something's happening which is called ragnog and basically Nazis and big ice monsters are attacking Asgard and Thor and some other people are trying to defend it. But then we get the title Ultimate Thor. It's kind of, it kind of reminds me of a movie because you've got, it starts off and there's like a little sentence and then it, it carries on and he's doing a monologue over all these pictures and you see like a, what it looks to be a dead uh, Loki or something. I think it's Loki or the other brother. And then um, you see the big ice monsters, and then we get the title, which is like a big ultimate Thor, and ne and like behind it, there's all Asgardian writing or something. Uh, and then we go to present time, I think, which is we see that this is quite cool. We see Thor and Donald Blake are different people. Uh, Donald Blake is not a doctor anymore; he's a psychiatrist. Well, it says. Uh, psych do doctor of psychiatry, uh, among other things. So I'm presuming it's he's like an all round doctor, and he's talking to Thor, and it sees that he's very intelligent within Asgardian knowledge, or whatever. <laughs> and um, and then we skip back to war time, and we've got Himmler, who, if you don't know your history, is the one of the second hands to Hitler, and he's talking to this person called the Baron. I don't know if this is a long-standing Marvel villain or Thor villain or something, but I've only just met him here. And uh, they're talking about these uh, these stones that apparently have some kind of power, and Himmler gives uh, the Baron permission to proceed with what he's planning to do with these stones anyway then we go to Asgard and this bit is set eons ago and there's this really cool bit where it's early in Thor's uh well it's way before Thor it's obviously way before Thor has you know become a superhero on earth because he's still in he's still a god he's still in heaven or whatever he is and uh but um and Loki's still on his side I'm not sure if this version the ultimate version of Loki is a bad guy but uh, and then you see their third brother, which is a badass, and um, they basically there's a cool fight scene. I really like it. There's some jokes in here that are really funny, and uh, I'm not gonna spoil any more. But the karma continues, and there's one thing I noticed about the artwork. Uh, it, it's probably just me, but whenever there's a close up of Thor's face, he's drawn very differently to the other Thor comics I have, where he's. He looks quite young. In this one, he looks more like the actor that's playing him. And considering with the movies, they seem to be going with the Ultimate Universe with, like, the Black Nick Fury and stuff. So I'm assuming that they've altered this comic. Or I haven't really seen any other Ultimate Thor 
artwork but it looks to me like they're trying to make him look like the actor which is cool I'm fine with that they did the same with oh hold on uh, sorry about that um what was I saying it's been like half hour um yeah anyway so Thor uh, ultimate Thor I can't remember where I left off but um, basically really good artwork uh, the story is really intriguing and I'm wanting more I'm definitely gonna pick up issue two and uh, yeah expect to see this in three more weeks uh, so next comic um, is another Marvel comic actually uh, is um, D right I don't know how to pronounce it so I'm just gonna call him Dakin because that's how I pronounce it it's Dakin Dark Wolverine issue one and it's part of the Wolverine Goes to Hell series now forgive me but I'm not picking up the uh, the other what was it the other three there's supposed to be you're supposed to pick up this uh, Wolverine issue one X-Men 23 issue one and Wolverine Road to Hell you have to pick all these up to understand this comic I don't think so um I really enjoyed it and I don't know completely what's going on but I think it was good to be honest it starts off with um I think it's Dakin he's narrating while you see Wolverine uh well, when is it? It's 50 years ago, So, and Wolverine's basically ruined this woman's life or something. But, uh, yeah, he's... I think it's Dakin's training someone to assassinate Wolverine. And uh, you, it's basically explaining how much Dakin hates Wolverine. And then you see Dakin doing some stuff with the models, and it's basically setting up... This new persona that Dakin's got called Dark Wolverine, where he's he's getting his costume. It's uh, basically showing how much of a douche he is, and then we get this awesome fight scene, which right I don't understand because apparently he lost his claws, but here we see him with his claws. It's just a bit odd because apparently his claws were surgically removed from his arm, which yeah. But anyway. Uh, then we see Dakin being a douche for a bit more. He gets his costume, he talks to people, and... I Overall, I can't explain much of it because I'd be giving it away, but it's just cool. And then we get, right at the end, the reveal of the costume, which is just epic. But anyway, um, moving on. Right at the end, uh, we have a shot, I think it's one, two, three, four, five six six page short history of Dakin which I've never heard of Dakin before so that was really helpful and um, yeah I I really like this and I picked up issue two actually which will be on my third poll list uh, it was really good and if you're looking to get into Dakin or Dark Wolverine I recommend you start here because it's the start of a arc uh, also, if you like Wolverine, Wolverine is incorporated into this in the next issue, which I shouldn't give much about because I'm going to review that next week. But anyway, uh, yeah, this was really good and I highly enjoyed it. And artwork-wise, um, it's not brilliant, but it's it's really good. So, yeah, it's not the best thing ever, but it is really good. It's definitely not distracting in any way. And it's just general comic art the way it is now. So, yeah. Uh, next comic, just moving on swiftly, is Batman Detective Comics 868. So, yeah, this out of the three comics I got uh, last week was the least interesting, but it was still quite interesting. Uh, it's part two. I didn't pick up part one, but I'm going to because I have. Uh, I'm, I'm having trouble finding completely understanding what, but basically, there's. An impersonator Joker and an impersonator Batman. And those two, they're having gang wars because they're the two bosses. But then they've also got these kind of henchmen where the Batman, uh, the, imp the impersonator Batman, has got all these cops to dress up as Batman and go out into the street and fight the Jokers. And the Jokers are basically, they're hyped up on this thing. I can't remember what it's called. Uh... It's Joker juice, that's it. And it basically, it makes you have a, like, get 
white face like Joker and the lips and everything. And he also gives you un- uncontrollable rage. And there's a f- it starts off with a fight scene between the two Batmen. Or the two... What are they called? The Batman call themselves uh, the Guardian Bats. And the Jokers call themselves the Jokers with a Z. I don't know how you pronounce it, but yeah. And uh, yeah, it's just... There's a little fight between two Jokers and Guardian Bats. And then we get Batman trying the serum, which was quite cool because we see Alfred just standing there and like Batman's flipping out and going crazy and Alfred's like not scared at all, which I thought was pretty cool. But then I think right after the point where, yeah, just right after that, basically, it just gets a bit, uh, I, I don't know, it's not that interesting. Um... I don't know if I'm going to keep picking this up. I got the second... I got the third issue. Issue uh, 8... 8, 6, 9. Which I'll review next week. But that's the, pretty much the same as this. It was alright, but it's nothing special like the other two comics I got where i really, really interested in them. It's basically... It's something new that hasn't been done with Batman, but that doesn't necessarily make it good. Uh, um, so... Yeah, uh, there's nothing much I can say about it. It's If you like fight scenes, there's a cool fight scene with Batman and like a hundred Jokers in it, which was really good. This comic has basically got a couple of good things, but nothing really to keep me interested. Uh, apart from right at the end, which is what made me pick up the second one, but the second one doesn't pay off that much. So, yeah. Uh, that's pretty much the end. I'm going to rate them all. I'll give... Ultimate Thor issue 1, uh, 4 out of 5. I'll give Deacon, Dark Wolverine, 3.5 out of 5. And I'll give Batman Detective Comics uh, 2.5. So, yeah, that was my pull list. Uh, Goodbye.